welcome to Two Moms in a Camera. We're still drinking. Yes, we are. Um, somebody asked us why we drink. Yes, they did. A, a subscriber definitely asked us why we drank every time we the did The question is why not? Right. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be alcohol. It just has to be in a nice glass. That's right. Because when you're ladies and you're at our age, we just like nice things and we like to, to relax and enjoy either a meal or yeah. a drink together. The, the other thing I want to say about this is because it's important. We get together once every, every few weeks to do this and usually in the evening or the afternoon and I don't drink during the week. Nikki and I really enjoy ha having a little cocktail, cocktail on the weekends. Um, yeah. So that's why we do it. And we thought it would be cute and quite honestly it, it gives me something to do with my hands. Uh, and it looks kind of cool. So yeah, except mine's that. almost empty. Okay, yeah, I cheers. know. Oh, and we're still drinking Cosmos, but... A couple of comments we've had revolves around our accents. And I don't know whether Nikki has an accent, I have an accent. Maybe a little bit. <clears throat> I did hear a word that I said on one of the videos that I thought, oh, that sounded very, very Bajan. So we're actually from Barbados. We were born in Barbados. Yes, For we those were. of you who don't know where that is, it's a small Caribbean island. In the West Indies. Yes, we are practically related to Rihanna. Yes, we are. She's from Barbados. She's our sister. Yeah. So <laughs> our family, sister. maybe, <laughs> our family goes back generations on the island, actually. They were probably originally from England or Ireland, probably convicts that were sent to Barbados <laughs> at some point. We'd like to think some of our family members actually think that we were royalty. I don't from think England. so. I think we were convicts. I think so too. For sure. We're, yeah, we're, we're convicts. Yeah. Convicts. So okay. we moved here. I was eight, Nikki was 11. Yes. Uh, when we moved to uh, Canada. And so. And by the way, today we're filming on Canada Day, and that's mm -hmm. why we're wearing red and white. We're yep. actually, my sister and I and our families are going on a Canada Day cruise. Right. Watching fireworks from I'm the I'm a little harbor. worried because it's a bit windy. Yes, but we're going to have um, a blast. Yeah. It's going to be fun. So happy Canada Day. Happy Canada Day to all you Canadians. We love our country. I think we have the best Prime Minister. I think we have a great... He is hot. He's, oh man, he's really right? hot, but he's also such a nice guy. I know, I know, I know. He's but I gotta get get past the... the and the lots of arms that he does. Does he? He does lots of arms. Not like so when he's like... Not arms, like, arms. Um, so he's speaking and he's, he says arm a lot. But it doesn't matter because what he has to say is so important. And I love that he's so open-hearted and welcomes everybody in. Mm -hmm. And I love that he's doing great work with um, the Syrian refugees. So on this, Nikki and I are immigrants. That's right, absolutely. It took us a while to be able to get to Canada and we were we, waiting for a few years in Barbados. We didn't have to, we weren't refugees. Um, <laughs> we weren't in any danger no. or we weren't starving no. or anything in Barbados. No. We had a, quite a nice we life had a lovely in Barbados. Life. Yes. But our parents wanted us to have a, a better life and more opportunities, so they moved us to Canada. For schooling mostly, right. I think. Right, right. Yeah. And um, I think it was good. I would like to talk a little bit about when we first got here though because school was hilarious. Right. I don't know about you but I remember being surrounded on the playground and having because I had a very thick Beijing accent, accent and I had a lot of Canadian kids say, yeah. just asking me to talk. Could they you say it, this, say right, that? Because a lot of people from the Caribbean are actually have black skin mm -hmm. and usually predominantly come from the Caribbean with that color skin or at least a light tan colored skin um, but we are as white as white can get and I think mm -hmm. having that accent with the white skin throws people off well my my first teacher I, I, I was actually in grade three when I moved here my first teacher warned the class that a new student was coming from Barbados so they all thought a black kid was coming I was quite a disappointment actually because when I wasn't black they were like it's a sm we moved to a really small town so having a black kid come to the town would have been like a big deal a huge deal right this is a very small rural community and so was I was a, a bit of a disappointment yeah, that we weren't a, a black family yeah. but that's okay uh, they got past it yes. and uh, I remember we arrived in November and there was the first snowstorm of the year now we had seen snow before because we had Christmas in um, in Buffalo a couple of yeah, times New York, yeah. in New York but my brother was only six when he uh, arrived. we arrived and we put a snowsuit on him <laughs> we put on a full body you know like the full snowsuit zipped it up and then wanted him to walk to school he refused to walk in it he, he stood move. there like the yeah. Michelin man <laughs> couldn't move so we had to pick him up stiff as a board lie him in a toboggan <laughs> 
<laughs> and pull him to school. And pull him to school because he wouldn't walk in it. And then the other thing that he did is he wore long johns. Do you remember this? We introduced long johns to him. And the following June, he said that the kids were laughing at him in the change room at school. And mom said, why? And he said, because of my long johns. She's like, you're still wearing your long johns? It's June. In June yes. And he just yeah. never occurred to him to take nope, them off. No, nope. the so, long johns went on before everything else. Right. Yep. So moving to Canada was quite a big deal for us. It was a bit of a culture shock. Definitely. But definitely a good move. And we're really, really happy to be, at, would we Canadian? say, Bajan Canadians? Bajan Canadians, because I think our, 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 love for our island will always be first and foremost but right. we're so grateful to be allowed to be in a country like Canada and we're so thankful that's right um, very proud Canadians beige Canadians I think we'll I don't like beige no beige doesn't suit my color tone back head how about Beijing Canadian? Beijing Canadian? Beijing that's Canadian. a lot of like that's it's okay. Okay. We're Beijing, Beijing Canadian. We're Beijing Canadian. And um, so happy Canada Day. Happy Canada Day and uh, to all you Canadians out there. And we'll have to let you know how our boat cruise goes tonight. That's right. We'll take some pictures. <laughs> we'll maybe post some pictures. Yeah. Do that? On our, our Facebook page. On our sure. Facebook page. Definitely. Okay. Cheers. So cheers.